All right, so let's talk about the vertical stabilizer fairing. Um, Um, I followed the instructions that said to trim it even with this, and then I had this huge gap. So definitely put your rudder on before you trim this. So what I did is I cheated about an eighth of an inch. I still have a gap, but as you can see, well, maybe not. It, it clears by about a sixteenth of an inch, which makes me feel eh, maybe an eighth. I mean, I guess I could have moved this back even more. I don't really feel like building this up backwards. It, this is good enough for me. Um, but because I moved it back, even if I didn't move it back, I mean, look, that's a sixteenth of an inch and look at the gap here. I mean, that's, I have a fat finger, but that's a quarter to a half an inch. So even if I did trim it, it still wouldn't have, well, I guess I could have. Yeah. Um, so either way, just don't, don't trim this until you have this on. With that said, it still doesn't matter because I would have had to do some fiberglass work. You've got a seal in the back and I'm just gonna, <clears throat> sorry if the lighting's bad, it's just easier for me to stand on this side. I kind of drew these lines here because also if you look at it head on, it doesn't quite line up. Now I am not, I'm not like fiberglassing and bondoing all of these joints. I'm building this plane to fly. This isn't a show plane. Um, but I am going to have to do some build up here. And since I'm going to be building that up, I'm going to build up the gap here and I'm going to build up a little bit there just to kind of reshape this. Also, uh, I'm going to be using screws, number six screws and nut plates because I'm going to be mounting a GoPro. Um, probably like right here uh, or somehow. I just want this removable because somehow I'll be mounting a GoPro on here. Uh, I don't exactly know how. Um, Gil from Build Fly Go has it. I think he has it mounted like using these two screw holes here. Um, it would be awesome if we can get one like right in the front, but you know, I'll cross that bridge in three years when I get there. But I do want this to be removable so I could get access to the GoPro and decide what kind of mount I want to use, et cetera, et cetera. So I guess I'll, uh, I'll start doing the fiberglass work on this. Okay, while that is curing, I went ahead and drilled these guys. I'm gonna do the other side and then that'll be it for the night. So this is really taking me back to my RC days. Uh, remote control airplanes. What a pain in the butt, but it's fine. I enjoy it. Um, listen, I'm not trying to build a show plane here, so this will all get covered up, but I just wanted to document this process. I just kind of epoxied some styrofoam because if you don't remember from previous videos, um, I had to push this back so much. Well, anyways, um, you'll kind of see what I'm trying to do here. I need to create, I need to thicken that leading edge a little bit and then mold it in. So I just epoxied some styrofoam. Um, I'm gonna sand it a little smoother than this and shape it a little bit more. And then I'm gonna use some glazing putty um, to kind of fill in some gaps and smooth this out. And then I'll run a piece of fiberglass over it. And then again, sand that down and fill in some gaps. and. When it's all done, you'll see what it looks like. All right, well, considering as I get close, well, let me start over. Considering how much work I had to do um, to build this up, uh, to match the shape, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I mean, look, it's not perfect. It's never gonna be perfect. This isn't a show plane, but um, I'm pretty happy with the gapping, what is that? That's probably about a eighth of an inch gap. You know, that's just when you're, yeah, maybe an eighth of an inch, but I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it looks good. 
you know, once we get, this is just kind of sanded and primed and it's not perfect. Um, but I'll, I'll sand this primer down and do one more coat of like micro bubbles on it before I paint or before I send it off to be painted. I'll do that when I'm doing the rest of the cabin. But for now, it's good enough that I'm happy with it. I've got my 632 screws. Um, one of my nut plates was bad and I stripped one of my screws. I had to uh, borrow a tap from a neighbor and re-thread the nut plate. Check your nut plates before you install them, man. These things are pissing me off. I'm, I've had four or five of them bad by now. But um, basically then at some point I'll put, it doesn't matter, I'm gonna leave that out because I'm gonna put probably a GoPro mount. It'll probably use like these two holes. Um, I think Flight Flicks makes a setup that works there. I think that's what Gil from Build Fly Go did. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna remove vertical stabilizer and rudder and put that back under the bed and then finish up, uh, finish up these. I've got these were just glassed. So the, the first part of glass and then um, I did the glass reinforcement on the inside. And then now I'm just gonna uh, figure out where to trim this. Uh, I'll trim it all down and get them fitted into the elevator and horizontal stabilizers. And while I was doing that, I got the um, the left bottom skin clecoed up, ready for drilling. <laughs> 